shifting energy. Focus for the week. How's everybody doing? We're in the final phase of the cycle. Moon is waning, releasing out still from that full moon we had last week, preparing for the new moon coming in. What can you let go of? What are you resisting? Why are you finding yourself so busy that you just can't even relax and let go? That's what we really want to focus on this week. Slowing down. Ooh, look at there. There's the devil reminding us of that self-sabotage, reminding us that we have to slow down even amidst the holiday season. I know it's hard. It is hard. Sometimes we want to just go, go, go. But, but. The power is in slowing down. It really is. Slowing down, breathing, taking pauses throughout the day. That is really going to help you move through this season. Holidays can be intense. I know after Thanksgiving, it's not my favorite time, but I know for my own self, one of the things I'm setting up for me is to really heal this time for me. Letting go of all those old expectations and really finding a new way to allow life to dance through me. So I offer you the same. As you move through this week, find ways to really take some pauses. Find ways to spend time with yourself. On the podcast this week, we talked about finding your calm. Angela Wicks is my guest, and there's 12 different ways in her book. She compiled 12 amazing authors from Llewellyn, different ways that can help you to find the ability to calm the F down through sleep, through astrology, through the cosmic forces, the vagus nerve, so many great ways. Meditation, we talked about it on the podcast. Check it out. Find a way that will help you. That's the focus this week. We'll move into dark of the moon towards the end of the week, new moon next week on 12-12. How cool is that? The arrows of Sagittarius are really pushing us out into new ways. What new energy can you go ahead and set for you that will carry you into 2024? It's a good idea to set some energy now because we do have Mercury retrograde coming up at the end of the month. So go ahead. Prepare yourself to release out old energy. When we release out, it makes way for new energy, new light to come in. What can you do to help yourself? I offer that question. So let's take a moment. Let's breathe. Let's realign our energies. Call it in. Focusing for the week. And I'll pull some more cards, even though that old devil card did already jump out at us. So wherever you are, if you can, take a moment with me. Closing the eyes, gonna light some fire. Calling in that element of fire, the sacred elements of life, sparking the spirit, activating that transformation, transmutation, changing the energy. Noticing the element of air, clearing the mind, clearing the space, clearing the altar. Calling in the element of water, Opening up the emotional energy, clearing, cleansing, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering. Taking a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy into you, call it in. Taking another deep inhale. Breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call in your spirit. Feel the spiritual body right on top, aligning with the physical body. Centering. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale, dropping right into the deepest part of your heart. Right into that deepest part. Feel that connection. Your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved. Feeling all this energy coming in around you, supporting you, guiding you through the week. Taking a moment and noticing where you are on this great wheel of life. Here I am, we find ourselves in the late fall season. As I teach in the medicine wheel, we find ourselves in the direction of the west. Where the sun sets each and every day, we notice our struggles. The leaves fall, returning to earth, so we let go. We offer gratitude for all the lessons learned this year. 
calling in the directions to the west, the north, the east and the south, above you, below you, right into the very center, pull this guidance in for you. Setting an intention of how you want this week to be. Feel it, see it, know it, hear it. And allow the elevated emotions of how you want to feel to radiate out all around you. Setting the energy. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale all the way down. Deep into Mother Earth. Take another inhale, breathing into the heart. Exhaling right through the solar plexus, finding your power. Feel that heart open. Feel the focus of the third eye. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. So we'll look at a few more cards beyond the devil. Devil is self-sabotage. Where do you go when you can't deal with what's going on? Best to face it now. It only gets worse if you put things off. Notice. All right, so for this week, we've got the Father of Fire, which is like being in that Sagittarius energy. Let the Sagittarius energy take you into new directions. It's got the arrow shooting you off. Open up. Be the activist in your life. Command the energy that you want to see coming in for you. I can totally resonate with that card. Another card, Three of Fire, as above, so below. Be right between heaven and earth. Be in your power, third chakra, open up with that fire to help you launch these new ideas and new parts for you. Perfect card, four of air. This is the card I tell you to meditate, slow down, take time for yourself. Just like we said right at the beginning, take time for you. The world will always be there, but you must slow down. You must slow down to activate this fire energy. Then we also got the fire of earth, which is an abundance card as I see it. It's the ability to be that entrepreneur, to create. Look at all the money coming in. It is time to manifest your dreams, to bring in the abundance, all that you've worked on this year. Beautiful cards as we move through this week. Don't get caught in that self-sabotage. Take time for you. Be the activist in your own life. Let that arrow move forward for you. As above, so below. Put your manifestations out there. Rest. Take time for you. And then bring it in full of abundance, light, money, success, prosperity, whatever that is for you. Taking a nice deep inhale, let it all resonate. Exhaling all the way back down, grounding. Before I close, I did want to invite you to my master class. If you missed it the first time around, it's on Sunday, December 10, 12, 10. We're going to be really focusing on angel guides. Come join us. It's an intro into my soul work, reading your Akashic records. I would love to have you. Links will be below or in the bio, depending on where you're seeing this. One more deep inhale and exhale, closing with gratitude. Gratitude for this time. Gratitude for your spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling. Thank you guys for joining me. Terry Ann Hyman here to your spirit. Namaste. Namaste.